Hey everyone, so let me first off preface this that I am really peeved and pissed. Um, I had two videos that I was going to post and for some reason my stupid phone has corrupted them. So I'm going to try to get those uploaded, but um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It was a plan with me and then I had this really cool project that I did that took me about a month to do and yeah said that the asset is not readable on the video so I'm a little pissed about that but anyway um, hopefully this video will work so I have got a haul today um, quite a few things actually um, I have gotten in quite a few things. Um, so first I will go over the two new notebooks that I have received. So one is here, this gorgeous B6 Mandala print, traveler's notebook from Elrohir Here Leather. Um, I guess her seal is inside, but you can really see the beautiful markings. It's a gorgeous pink to purple. I've been looking at these notebooks since I started using Traveler's Notebooks. I've been looking at this brand. Um, this was actually one of the first companies that I looked at, but I actually just never ordered from them. But I've always just really admired them. Um... So like I said, it is a B6. It is a classic, so no reinforced spine. It's got the gorgeous mandala embossed on it. Purple strings. And then um, here is her seal. And then it's got like a rough edge pocket here. And she had actually discounted these in her Facebook group because they were imperfect, which is perfect to me <laughs> and that will be kind of a joke here later but um so it's got these lines here I guess where the die had just messed up and you can kind of see the mandala print here it's just naked leather on the inside and then I've got this nice little insert here with her seal there's the strings and then you've got this back pocket that's just a straight pocket so this thing is gorgeous. I did try putting my bullet journal in the back uh, sleeve, but was unable to fit it in there. So I will just have to use this as a traditional traveler's notebook, unless I got like maybe a different kind of bullet journal to put in the back cover. But it is gorgeous. I was able to get it on sale and yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous notebook. The next one was actually a purchase off of the buy sell trade from Imperfectly Perfect. Dun dun dun. Yes, I finally. I, okay, so Imperfectly Perfect is another shop that I've been looking at for like ever, and um, I saw this. Uh, hers are actually etched, so this. Pat this design here is burned into the leather and it's got a little bit of a texture to it it looks a little bit more matte so you can kind of see the shine of the leather and everything um, but when I saw this design this was her it's now discontinued the inner beauty design I was like oh my god I have got to have that so I've been stalking the buy sell trade page forever and one of um, her customers posted this and I saw that it was a personal wide ring size, but it is a little bit thinner than my other personal wides, which is actually perfect to me because it's going to hug. So this is a personal wide Foxy Fix and then this is the personal wide Imperfectly Perfect. So you can see just how far these are made out. Um, so this one, I've put some stuff in here and it hits right where that strap is. So it's got the, um, it's got the clasp and then the rings on the inside. These are just, uh, Foxy Fix personal wide ring inserts. 
I actually really like the size of this much more than my other personal wide ring binders because my um, all of my inserts are going to match like right here and there's not going to be you know just a lot of extra leather and then um, it's so it's got like a red to purple dye and you can see it's got the inside pockets it says she persisted and pockets there I mean this is a used notebook but I would have honestly never known because it is in pretty much pristine condition there is a little thing here but um, where I guess one of the screws had come out so she had replaced it with a gold one which you know pfft, that's so small but anyway this thing is just gorgeous I am so glad that I was able to get this thing because I just I love this design on the front and there's the imperfectly perfect on the back so um, the die is perfect I mean it's a beautiful perfect ombre so yeah I know that I will probably be going back to ring binders sometime so I've got a little stockpile now because I know how I am I know what size I love but I know I'm a creature of change so I won't be in the bullet journal forever and I'll be wanting to go back to either a traveler's notebook or a ring binder one or the other okay um, another uh, thing from Imperfectly Perfect. I actually ordered this and it got in today. So I have not seen it yet. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. Oh wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, so wow, I am blown away. This is beautiful. Okay, so this one is the, um, oh my gosh, what is the name of this design? I cannot remember the name of this design. And actually, this leather feels a little bit thinner than on the binder. So it's floppy. I was expecting this leather to be super, super stiff, but I'm so glad it's not. Okay, so this is the, uh, there are two designs of this one. I cannot remember the name of this one, but it's just the little top bun girl, and then she's got like a tattoo on her. She's got another one where you can do like a full tattoo back, but I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to have something simple on the front. This is in what is called the Love Struck Blend, so it goes from pink to gray, and then I got the edges blackened. And then there's silver splatter on it. There's her seal. So this is an A5 bullet journal cover. And I just so happen to have my bullet journal right here. So let's see how, how it fits. So I do like that this leather is floppier because I know I'm gonna be able to fit this bullet journal in here easily. And it's just going to mesh well with my um, with the inserts that I have in it so just tuck that in the back there I am blown away by how beautiful this thing is oh my gosh so this one was a hard one to wait for it really, really was. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to use the elastic closure that comes with the bullet journal, but it's got the um, nice stacked pockets here. But you do get this um, closure here. And it's just supposed to, there we go. Yes. Oh my gosh, I, I am. I am really, really blown away by how beautiful this design is. I wonder if I can tuck this. Can I do that? I don't know. Let's see. I don't want this video to be super, super long, but let's just see. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting the whole entire cover in here, but we're going to see. Oh, it does fit. Uh, 
Let's see. Will it close? Yep. It closes. So you gotta kind of work with it a little bit, but it does close. It's a good fit. I like that it was a little bit, wow, that is gorgeous. And then I also asked for her to put um, something, a little grommet up here, that way I can put a charm on it. And um, holy crap, y'all, this thing is beautiful. Oh my God, I love this. Oh, I may have to go back to the A5. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot get over how beautiful this is. Okay, yeah, it's well worth the wait. Look at that splatter. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, I've got to stop fawning over it. Um, so both of these are from Imperfectly Perfect. And as always, I will leave links down below of um, which ones they are. What is that? A little extra thingy there. Okay. So this is, that's actually her, like her Instagram little icon. Made with elbow grease and gratitude. I love that. Those are awesome, awesome, awesome. And then you also get a dust bag with it, which I think is just a really, really nice thing to do for any notebooks. Okay. And then, um, lastly, we have here. I have been seeing this shop on Instagram. Some of the uh, ones that I follow have been talking about this shop. I've had a cup, I've had like a custom doodle done from this shop. And it is, the shop's name is Illustrize, I believe, or it might be Illustrize. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see this really extra packaging because she is such an artist and has just beautiful, oh wow, yeah, she has beautiful packaging. So I will leave the link down below, but it says here she wrote me a little note. And her, look how tiny her handwriting is. I love that. That's so cute. Um, so it says, hello, gorgeous. Thank you so much for your purchase. It means a lot to me. I hope you'll love everything and enjoy your little package. Gotcha. Oh, so she threw in a, oh my gosh, look at the freebie. How cute. So let me... Open this up and so I can tell y'all what all is in here. She has a standalone site. Um, so I got the freebie skull charm. I know that her freebies change from time to time, but I was able to get the skull charm, which y'all know I'm gonna use. It's so cute, and look how cute that is. Look at the tag. It, it's just a little bit mark. So it's just this dainty little skull on top of this little pearly looking little ball. So cute. I love that. All right, so let's see what is in here. This packaging is fantastic. Wow, look how much she puts into her packaging. She's got my name there. We've got, feels like some wax. Oh, she, yeah, it's a wax seal. Holy crap. Like, I don't even want to open this. Wow, okay. I really don't want to open this. That's so cute. So to me, shops that do stuff like this, I mean, you put a lot of love in your packages. Like it makes your customer honestly feel good knowing that you appreciate 
them so much to go the extra, I mean, this isn't even an extra mile. This is like an extra 10,000 steps. Like, good Lord. And I've seen pictures of her packaging. But, wow. I'm really impressed. Okay. There we go. So this actually came from Malaysia. Her, uh, she is based out of Malaysia. I don't know what that is, but it's just really cute. I'm definitely going to have to like peel some of this stuff off and use it. I love that little male witch wax seal. So thank you, witches. So pretty. I'm spending way too much time just fawning over this packaging. Okay. This paper feels cool, too. Alright, so inside we've got um, a nice little package of stickers. So, I got a lot of her Halloween stickies. So, this one is the uh, Chibi mail stickers so it's just a cute little chibi girl and then um i don't i don't think that's her website anymore i will leave it linked down below but anyway that's the chibi mail sticker set um and then i got several of just the different sticky sets some of them are printed on craft paper and some are not. Okay, so let's see. This one is uh, the Draft Girls set. So they're matte stickers. I'm trying to hold these up good. So it looks like, oh, they're not all the same. So you've got two of those, two of her, and it's almost printed like, it looks like it's printed on graph paper, kind of. And I'm pretty sure that these are all her own drawings. So you got two of her. Love the little septum ring. Love that. And then two of her. So cute and little and just dainty. Okay, let's see. I know this one is the Hallow Queens sticky set. Look at the backing here. Definitely going to keep that. Y'all know who I am. So we've got a little, two little Wednesdays. So I think everything is one on white paper and then one on craft paper. Matt. Love her. She's pretty. You got two of her. Ooh, I like that one. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, look at the little it girl. She's so cute. And a vampire. And then we've got a um a Ouija girl. And the colors are pretty vibrant on the uh on the white paper. But I love how the craft paper just makes it look really vintage just from the start. Okay, so that was the Hello Queens. This one is the, um, I'm assuming that this one is the Wee Bit Witchy sticky set. I don't know. This one may be the Crystals one. I can't remember. So we've got the little Witch's Brew. Looks like a little little book of some sort. 
little journal. That's cute. And then that. Little skull, oh my god, the little skull. I'm so excited about him. <laughs> and then a little jar. And some crystals. Oh, this is a beautiful lotus. I do love lotus flowers. Obviously. <laughs> it's pretty. So, so pretty. More little crystals. So I probably won't be using these much as stickers, but more as die cuts. A little fortune teller. I don't know why I keep calling that a fortune teller. It's a crystal ball. But I did that in I did that in another video. I was like, it's a little fortune teller. No, it's a crystal ball. That's cute. A little tattoo hand holding a rose. And then the moon moon signs with a pentagram in the middle. And then um let's see. This one may be the wee bit witchy one. That one may have been the crystals sticky set. Maybe. I think this one is wee bit witchy. Okay, so we've got the brooms. And then the witches. And we gotta have the witches brew. Gotta drink out of it. <laughs> and the little black book. Sorry. Creep it real. That's cute. I like the candles. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Uh, I disagree, but it's cute. I'm not a pumpkin spice fan. It's got a little vial. And a little witchy cupcake. Those are cute. Everything's cute. My goodness. You get so many little stickers with all of these. Like, I'm in... To me, they're more like die cuts. Like, I'm in die cut heaven right now. So, this one... Okay. Oop, I was wrong. This one is the crystal set. So the last two sets that I showed you were the Hallow Queens and, or no, the last one was Wicked Autumn and then the Wee Bit Witchy. So yes. <laughs> Just to kind of give you an idea of what there is. And I know that um, Zai is currently currently has her shop closed right now she will be back in november with new designs i'm sure um so just keep that in mind i don't know if she's gonna have any extras of these i would say check out her instagram i'll try and remember to leave that linked below that way you can look and see um she does have a pr girl and you can use her code to save a little moolah. This one's definitely the crystal set. Um, so, yes. Follow her on Instagram. She's really good about keeping up with her posting and everything like that. So she will let you know. She's always got some freebies. And they're good freebies. Like, Not saying that there are bad freebies out there because they're free. But I mean, I have never known a sticker shop to send out like a whole bookmark a whole charm to um say thank you but that is that is awesome so like I said all of this is from Illustraze and her prices are phenomenal like most of these sets I think the most that I paid for one of these sets was like six bucks and you get one copy of the craft and one copy of the white 
So I think her her price point is awesome. She's got a PR girl. Uh, her shipping rates are very reasonable. And I just, I can't wait to order from her again. Um, I got quite a bit of stuff and definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of it. And uh, yeah, so this video is now 25 minutes long. I am sorry for it being so long, but y'all know I love to be thorough about this kind of stuff. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. And yeah, be sure to check the description box for all of my links and all the links to all of this stuff. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, everybody.